Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest Dawn of the Wolves and we are here with our special Wolf Quest summer event following Dawn and her puppies and we are currently following one of Dawn's puppies Moose as he continues his wandering dispersal wolf yearling journey around Lost River. So we are over at the Lost River map right now currently in the act of hunting hopefully for some very delicious elk to chase down but Moose has wandered away from his family pack. He is finally old enough to leave Dawn and Onyx's side. He and his sister Quartz have a split ways and he's wandering the world on his own, trying to find what his place in the world may be. And little does he know, there's many unexpected adventures in store for him here. He has already- Oh, Coyote! Coyote, get away! I'm not gonna let you steal my lucky rabbit's foot! Moose has already run into the 100th rabbit that we have had since that was an achievement in the game. That's kind of a big deal. I, I, I could not believe that last episode. You should definitely make sure you see that because my shock was off the charts and I was extremely happy that we finally have a wolf quest wolf. Oh no, and my scent mode won't work. What the heck? Moose! I think Moose has like a spring cold. My scent mode literally won't work. That is so curious. Okay, I'll have to fuss with that later, but alrighty then. I guess he has a cold and I can't do scent mode to figure out where my elk are. <laughs> that happens sometimes in Lost River. I'm just going to say that when it does happen, we've got a little bit of a um, like spring allergies or something like that. All right, well, if there's no Moose over here, maybe if we wander out of the back 40, at least I have some food this way. Oh no, I can't even scent where my- Oh, there's a fox? The heck? The heck? There's been so many adventures here already and we just got here with Moose. This is amazing. I don't think we can chase down that fox, so we'll just kind of chase it away. That's right, get out of here, fox. My gosh, it's been- it's been pretty amazing. Moose did manage to get the absolutely ultimate, fantastic, last achievement that had anything to do with rabbits. Also, this is not the little group of trees that we left that elk carcass in. It is going to be really weird with him. This is like its own challenge. Like the game has given me its own challenge today of Moose having, uh, having a little bit of a cold. So I actually cannot use scent mode. It's so weird. Uh, did I chase the elk over here? Huh. All right, we're gonna have to go hunting for fresh elk because I don't know where the carcass went. That's so funny. That has happened. It's a glitch, but I love working with game glitches and making them stories. So don't worry, guys. If I exited the game, it would probably work again, but we're gonna roll with it today and just say that, yeah, we, we can't use scent mode. So we're kind of we're kind of amazingly blind without that scent ability as a wolf. Yeah, and this is not the group of trees that I left things at either. So sorry, Moose, you've got a cold today. But Moose did get super lucky last time. I am actually kind of, oh, there's another lucky rabbit's foot. Fantastic, all right. Dinner, dinner is served, our 101 rabbit. I wonder how long I'll be able to keep counting. <laughs> do you guys think you could help me keep counting too? That would be kind of hilarious. How many rabbits are we at now? Maybe we could do it that way. We have now hunted down three rabbits and three rabbits is 101, so just subtract like, okay, subtract two and then add a hundred and then we will be right there. Okay, all right. So we'll keep an eye on that. We also have to work on building up Moose's experience. So hopefully he'll be able to attract a lovely female wolf while we are here at Lost River. Uh, but yeah, he managed to snag. I'm sorry, I'm so excited about it. I have to show it off all over again. The 100 hair slayer achievement the hair slayer kill 100 hairs he did not kill 100 hairs but now the moon pack and the starry skies pack all mixed together have officially slain 100 bunnies that's bad for the bunnies but it represents just a lot of good luck for us because we like to say that the bunnies that show up are gifts from our grandfather who even knows if you guys can figure out how many grandfathers ago atlas was I am gonna be so thrilled, but Atlas, get away from, get away from my lucky rabbit's foot. That's right, the, the coyotes try to steal the lucky rabbit's feet, so we have to chase them down. Plus they give us experience, so we'll go ahead and, and clear them out of here. There we go. And now let's go see if we can find those elk again, because we need more experience and we need more food. Where on earth have they gone? Uh, there's that fox again. This is just like the busiest place. I love Lost River. They must have definitely tweaked quite a few things since I was last running over here. Moose has such a vibrant world to explore. 
But yeah, a long, long, long time ago, even though Moose doesn't know, oh, there they are! Even though Moose doesn't know about his ancestors, and his mother doesn't know about their ancestors, so much of the lore and legacy of the Moon Pack has been lost, the rabbits that were sent down uh, from Atlas are from... Atlas! I'm sorry, when rabbits show up, we say they're sent down from an ancestor named Atlas as a gift, the Lucky Rabbit's Foot gift. Atlas was one of our favorite and most amazing of the the moon pack wolves he truly was something special i and if you guys remember him i would love to hear about it also where are these all going moose moose chase them down you've got this you've got this buddy they're they're they think they're mountain goats they're mountain goat elk oh my goodness use the cliffs to your advantage we've got this don't let her kick you take her out she's right there imagine all the experience this will give you Hopefully not the kind that break bones. Think of your lucky rabbit's foot. Oh gosh, but yeah, whenever a rabbit shows up, we say it's Grandpa Atlas's gift because he was really all about hunting all those rabbits. And they tend to show up when we need them or just as a sign, we consider them a sign of good luck. Part of our wolf quest lore of which we've built much. All right, let's wait. Maybe if I stalk this thing for a second. That's right, Moose. Let's use your head a little bit and then she let out a call that's so cool and we're gonna chase her down all right and got her all right there we go just a few more little nips maybe we'll even try moose is not very fast but he has really high stamina and strength Jeez. and maybe if we rush up on her and bite her and hang on this time instead of try to outrun her all right not a tactic i like using often because it drops stamina like a rock but pretty good if you already have the elk mostly exhausted. There we go. Come on, Moose. Come on. Oh, I love, come on. I love following his story. It's so much fun. Huh, there we go. All right, now we can fill up on our lovely elk right here. There we go. And we gathered some more experience for Moose. So good for us. Though the reason that we're here not <laughs> is not to chase down lucky rabbits and get unexpected achievements. And don't worry, a lot of you guys were still concerned. We will be con continuing and going back to Dawn and Onyx. They have unfinished business with that stranger wolf who was raiding their den last time. And uh, just trust me when I say there's going to be a whole story that you guys will be able to vote on and pick the ending of there. It's going to be pretty awesome oh there's there there they are again there they are again and we do need to hunt down the elk because we there are wolves in the area that we could actually have moose meet with and possibly fall in love with and bring a mate on board but we need to have enough experience to do that so we need to build up our experience a little bit and the other reason that we're here other than that achievement is because we are currently on a side story that's what i meant by we will be returning don't worry to dawn and onyx in the future but we are going to be following Moose for a little while just to have a side story with him and see where his story goes, what kind of trouble he gets into, or in the case of the Lucky Rabbit, what kind of luck he gets into, and also to uh, follow up on rumors of a very special ghost moose and something even weirder and more interesting than a ghost moose that happened to be here in Lost River. And let's just say, if the rumors are true, that it'll be it'll be really really interesting it's like a little game secret that we're going to be chasing down come on moose come on okay we're gonna have to use the tactic of once we can bite the butt holding on to the butt we bit all right there we go come on try again and don't let go i just don't feel like it's as effective because it burns out your stamina and i feel like i could do more damage with repeated biting than just like clinging to the elk but maybe that's just me a lot of people have different hunting tactics one day it may be interesting to hunt multiplayer. Uh, I have a special plan in mind that I kind of hinted at yesterday, but it won't come for a long time, so don't get too tangled up in knots. All right, where do you think you're going? You're not some billy goat. Get off this cliff. But the other reason we're hunting elk right now, other than building up some great experience and just thinking up really fun stories of what to do with moose and dropping tons and tons of hints that you guys will see in the future, is because it is daytime and moose actually show up better in the dusk and dawn. So until we manage to roll... Ah, where'd that moose go? Or moose? No, that's... A, uh, I'm mixing up my moose and my, my elk now because there's just so many of them. 
But until we managed to roll the random generator, and today it rolled day again, until it manages to roll Dusk or Dawn, I'm not sure if the elk would show up, though we will be investigating the town next time. I just think Moose is unexpectedly, like, super happy to be hanging out here on the cliff sides. And I think that he thinks this is a beautiful place. He hasn't even run into a stranger wolf yet. There was a cougar, though. I think the cougar is the only thing that would have really given him pause and maybe made him a little concerned. All right, let's go ahead and fill up on our food. There we go, there you go, moose. All right, and I think it's hilarious that he has this cold, so I can't use scent view, which makes things a little bit more complicated. But we're gonna start guiding him into town now, and hopefully next time it's going to be dawn or dusk, because one of our goals with moose is to see if we're going to be able to unlock the moose achievements and take out one of the cow elk, or maybe even one of the bull elk, which I highly doubt, but it would be really interesting if that happened. All right, where's the road? There's the house. We can go and investigate the house in case you guys haven't seen the exceptional creepiness of the abandoned uh, lost river areas. I know many of you are new to Wolf Quest. A good time to jump in because episode three will be coming out hopefully later this year. Very much looking forward to it. And I think that you're even able to work on raising your puppies as a pack that in that episode. I'm not sure exactly what details they're getting up to, but I'm excited to see. All right, and over here, we have a little crib just to show you guys the creepiness <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of birds. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at the birds. They're landing on the roof. That makes it much less scary. It'd be cool if they were bats that landed on it and rested inside of the uh, abandoned house at night. That would be really fun. Or imagine if you like ran up to the house in the wrong way. What if you like startled a bunch of bats out? Whew, that'd be worth a good scream or two. Oh, look at that. A little robin. Yeah, nature is just reclaiming this area that humans have long since abandoned. And Moose, as a dispersal wolf, is just kind of investigating and already has the lucky rabbit's foot artifact. We talked a little bit about that last time. We are coming up with ways. Oh, can I get up in here? I can't remember. Uh, there we go. Okay, I think I can get this far, but I can't actually get inside the building. That'd be kind of cool if there was a map where you could maybe make your den inside of an old building like this. That'd be really, really exciting, actually. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so Moose has his new 100th lucky rabbit's foot. And I'm thinking that he could always keep that. Like I mentioned last time, I still need to go through and see what the majority of you think about the idea. But what if we had artifacts instead of ancestor blessings? And when a puppy is born, uh, we have to choose the puppy that it would be passed on to. And if we lost the artifact because the puppy, uh, we could, like if the puppy then died of illness or predators or starvation, then we would lose the artifact. So it's not like it would be a permanent perk like ancestor blessings were to our pack, but it would do something and it would kind of keep things interesting. And then if we voted on like one of Moose's children keeping the lucky rabbit's foot, but then we didn't want that wolf to be voted as the leader. Unless we came up with some sort of story twist, that means the artifact could be lost that way too. So there may be a chance where we'd only ever have one. Unless somehow we piled them on top of puppies. But that would be kind of hard. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're up to here, guys. We're going to roam around. We're, in fact, let's go ahead and just kind of poke over here. I don't remember Lost River being so beautiful, but it really, really, really is. Oh, and there's a waterfall too. So we're going to just let Moose relax, enjoy the landscape, explore around the place, and hopefully gain enough experience to attract a lovely, lovely wolf to his pack, his little pack that he'll be forming too. And of course, that will open up the time when you guys can give us submissions. Not just yet. I'll let you guys know when the time comes to provide submissions for wolves that could possibly possibly become Moose's mate. I kind of think it'd be funny if they had some names that were related to more of the forest animals. Like what if we ended up with like, I don't know, moose and beaver? Hmm, who knows? We'll have to think about it. Ooh, this is a new spot. Don't mind if I investigate this. But Moose is just very curious, and as soon as it hits the 
evening time, if it hits dawn or dusk, we are going to be darting inside of the city and searching for the rumors of that ghost moose. I think night is when the ghost moose shows up, and dawn or dusk are when you might have better chances of seeing the moose that's down by the radioactive facility. So yeah, there's going to be some fun achievements we're searching for. But let me know what you guys think about moose. Let me know especially what you guys think about the idea of having artifacts that we could have the wolves possibly find through the world or find through those pick your own adventure polls that you guys do from time to time and use those instead of ancestor blessings just to provide very easy perks. Nothing overpowered, but just something to kind of adjust things a wee bit and make life very, very interesting for us. I think that'd be really fun, but let me know if I'm, I'm still a little bit like making it too complicated and too far away from just the basics of surviving as a wild wolf. All right, we're about to head out of the wild though and into a very new land indeed. So next time we come back, we are going to be roaming the city, this abandoned city with Moose and seeing it for the first time through his eyes. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to find a moose to chase down and get our very own moose hunting achievement soon too. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.